sure that I uh, put this up correctly. Um, just one second. Okay, that should be good. All right. Um, okay, you guys, let me stop this. Um, okay, so it's only like five minutes, but I'm gonna show. Um, I'm gonna show a little bit of home video. Hopefully, um, the sound should be good. Okay. All right. Um, let me play this. I guess. <clears throat> okay. Wait, do you guys see it or not? No, you guys don't see it. Sorry, let me let me go back. Um, you guys don't see it. Sorry. Okay, wrong scene. Sorry. Here we go. Right. Okay. Here we go. Let me just play some. Play it. Play it. Wait. Why is it not playing? Did it freeze? Did the video freeze? No. It. Okay. All right. And to be clear, you guys, this is not me playing. This is um. This is actually my brother playing. This is my brother. He's playing Blitz against this 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 uh, Indian kid here. This is uh, Vinay Bot. He actually was the youngest uh, youngest master in America at one point. He's an international master now. Uh, rewind. Who was what? Who was what? Sorry. Who was what? Okay. All right. Let's keep going. Uh, someone says that my brother title player yes my mother my brother was a master come on these they're like eight years old they're hitting the clock deal with it and by the way chat this is back when you didn't have digital clocks this is uh there's just a analog clock <laughs> the poor poor clock exactly yeah back up a second oh my gosh these are some real players by the way one second let me uh let me pause in a second so first off this is my brother as you know this is my stepfather right here um but you're actually i didn't realize this is um just to be clear this guy right here is actually uh he was walter brown he was a six-time united states chess champion one of the best american players in the 1970s and the 1980s um, right here with the glass and the, the graying hair. That's yeah, Walter Brown. Um, one of one of the greatest uh, players in in in, in American history. Uh, six time United States chess champion. He no longer is with us, but I, I had no idea he was in this video. But yeah, it's w Walter Brown. I think it's a blitz tournament, by the way. And by the way, look at these clocks, by the way. I, I, now now I, I froze it, but this is like five minutes with an analog clock. So basically, you don't ever know how much time you have. So it's like you kind of just move and you pray that you're not going to lose on time. Because uh, you literally don't know. Like, don't know. I mean, seriously. I, I, did, I did have an analog clock. So it's like... 
you make your move and you, you pray that you've got like four minutes instead of like three minutes. Not here I don't, but I still back in New York, I have some analog clocks. It's better not knowing how much time you have. Yeah, I mean, it's fairly antiquated now, but yeah, it was, it's pretty funny when you think about it. By the way, I have this position, um, this, this bottom board, this position after Queen C7 and Castles. I'm pretty sure I had this position. Um, where did I have it? I think I had this position in a game at the U.S. Open in 1998, maybe, I think. This, this is a Knight Orf. Maybe it was 99, but I had this position. This, this, um, this Bishop E2, uh, this Bishop E2 Knight Orf with early F4, and you go Queen C7, and you castle. Um, I had this position in, in a game. Sorry, you guys. I'm a little bit weird. I know. What, what do you want? I remember my game. Sorry. Um, I literally say any date, I won't be to confirm it. Most of the time, I actually on stream will show you guys the games. Like, I showed you guys the games the other day from 1998 or 99 in, um, in Trinidad and Tobago. So, normally, I do, I do look it up. I can't see any of the other boards clearly, though. Right, so to be very clear, here, you guys, you will see a better picture. So there are a lot of people watching. And once again, this is Walter Brown right here. He was he was a grandmaster. And as I said, the six-time United States chess champion. So, so someone that I actually had the... I, there was one time, I believe it was 19... I think it was 1999 uh, when, when I was doing some stuff with a chess company. And I actually took some lessons with him on the Nidorf Sicilian. It was just one day, but it was for like four to five hours. And it's certainly a memory that I, that I uh, will always look back on very fondly because um, he was one of the preeminent experts on the Nidorf defense of the Sicilian, excluding, of course, people like Gary Kasparov. But, but in America, he was one of the, um, one, one of the, one of the, one of the OGs for sure. And sure enough, actually, if you look at the board here, this is a Nidorf defense of the Sicilian. Um, pawns on d6 and a6 here. Mm-hmm, e5. Oh, 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 did you guys just see that, by the way? Do you guys just see that? So back in the old days when chess was, like, really old school and, like, anything goes, if you make a move and you knock over a piece, like, let's say I make a move, knock over a piece, hit the clock, your opponent hits the clock right back without making a move. So I'll just rewind it, and you'll see this happen right here when the knight gets tipped over. So just just wait. You'll see it. You'll see him play knight b3 in a second, and the knight gets knocked over, okay? So he goes, like, he goes here, he knocks over the pawn, and then Brown hits the clock right back. Uh, someone says he didn't whine about it like Zhigalko. Yes, this is very true. Back in the old days, you didn't go to go to the arbiter. You literally like you. It was like it was mano a mano. There there was no like going to the arbiter. You you like that, that's not how it worked. Okay, so that was all from there. So now this is I'll keep it going, but this, there's more chess. But you'll see. This, you guys, is what computers used to look like back in the real real times. This is this is this was a proper computer. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> no. Oh, there it's I am. Right Hi. Hi. Oh, I'm playing chess. Now, the weird thing is, I don't remember my early days of playing chess very well, but I did not think I played the Italian opening. This is clearly the Italian, e4, e5, knight 3, knight 6, bishop c4. Um, so I must have switched pretty quickly, because the opening that I grew up with mainly was the Scotch defense, not the, uh, not the Italian.
Um, are these guys goods or nubs? This, I think, was the United States Chess Open in 1995. So most of these players here are at least like 2,000 ranked. Um, these are these players are all very very serious chess players. I don't know why that old guy is standing over my stepfather's board. That's a little bit kind of weird. I don't know why this guy is like standing right over him. Like it's it's a little bit weird. I I don't know why. Let me go back. Like. It's kind of weird. Like, why is this guy like standing right o right over his board? Like, it's kind kind of weird. Um, but So this is some kind of King's Indian opening. I can't tell what it is exactly, but it's some King's Indian opening gone well. Okay, let's see. So what's the position? White has rooks on h1 and a1. So it's even material, but white is 1, 2, 3, 4, even material completely, but with a rook on a8 and a rook on a1 here, black probably is winning because white doesn't get the king side attack, and you're attacking in the center here with knight takes e4. And you also have like b3 or maybe d takes c5, and then you attack on the a file too. Okay, that's my brother. What are the, what what are they writing? Uh, so you have to take notation. You have to write your moves down. You have to write your moves on a piece of paper. Uh, even now, you still have to do it. Um, by the way, you guys, I think this is another former famous chess player. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is actually Eric Schiller. He was a very prominent uh, chess author. He wrote a lot of books. I think this is actually Eric, if I'm not mistaken. Um, uh, someone who passed away a couple of years ago as well. But I'm pretty sure this is Eric Schiller here. Those of you guys who know who it is. Where do they live now? Um, well, the guy that I, this guy here on on the left, I think he he's he he passed on. He's no longer alive. I think that's it. That's it for now. I think. Um, yeah, I think that's it for now. Let me see. Does this, does this go? On? Let me let me just make sure this is the end. There's any more chests there? I just I just don't know if this is um if this is chess or not. That, I, haven't, I haven't actually checked. So let me see if it's more chess or not. Yeah, okay, so there's no more. Okay, all right. Um, 